Hello, hello. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm BGA Blogs. And today, you guys, I'm going to be making my Ube cheesecake. This is for the holidays. So, yeah, I hope you guys um, are ready to see this recipe. I've already done it once before. Oh, let me get my, my cream. Okay, almost forgetting the heavy whipping cream. Okay. All right. Hi, Poonam. Hello, hello. Okay, so we got the cream ready to go. Okay, you're going to need two 8-ounce cubes or packs of uh, room temperature um, cream cheese. All right. So that's what we're going to need. Just that. No, I'm just kidding. And then, hi. Hi, Aaliyah. Hi, Confused. Hi, Ashley. Then we're going to need a heaping half a cup of Splenda. Okay. Add a little pinch for good measure. Add some of that sweet, sweet. Who likes some of that sweet, sweet? What's up, homies? Hi, Janice. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Hi, Crazy Sue. And I know in my previous uh, recipes, I have said to add the whole pint, which is... Wait, not the whole pint. Not a pint. I have said to add 16 ounces to the 16-ounce uh, cream cheese, but I'm going to do a little less than that. So half a cup is 4 ounces. So I'm going to do one, so that's four ounces, two, that's eight ounces, eight, I'm going to start with that. I'm going to start with that. If I need a little more, I can add more. This is just so you're able to, hi, one eaters, so you're able to enjoy your um, ube cheesecake a lot sooner than having to wait overnight. Okay. All right, baby. Don't go all over the place. Right there, I can tell I need some more cream. So we're going to add 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What about 12 ounces of heavy cream? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Much better. How's everyone doing? Is everyone prepping for tomorrow? Is everyone prepping their stuff for tomorrow? Hi, honeys. Okay, this is looking a little cottage cheesy. Again, I went with a different brand of of um cream cheese i really hope that's not it okay y'all never mind stick to my original recipe all 16 ounces okay not me trying to change something that's already good Hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. Okay. 
Oh my god, it tastes delicious. Now I got it splattered all over my phone. Oh my god. I know I should have bought Philadelphia cream cheese. Whenever I buy these cheap cream cheeses, I always notice that they're different. The other one I bought, the Winco brand, never set. And then I buy this Fry's brand, and it looks like cottage cheese. I whip it on We beat most of the most of the chunks out of it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. This is why I tell you guys, Mama Appetite is the the cook, the chef, the baker of the BGA household because I don't know how to bake. I don't know how to cook. I just know how to make mariscos and steak. And my wannabe ube cheesecake that I just can never seem to get correct. <sighs> but here we are, still trying. Delicious, thank you, Luz. It came out good, it's good. I got most of the lumps out uh, by beating it. Beat that with a bit. <sighs> and of course you guys know I'm in love with these uh, pecan crusts. Love them. I don't even buy graham cracker crusts no more. Oh, this came out nice and thick. Oh, she a thicky baby. She a real thicky. Thicky, icky, icky. I went to the um, Honey Baked Ham uh, company to buy my Honey Baked Ham for tomorrow. The line was outrageous. I'm like, damn, there's a lot of last minute shoppers just like me. <clears throat> and they started busting out with, oh, uh, we need an ETA. They were telling the people in the back, we need an ETA on the, on the hams. How many do we have left? And they're like, not very many. So I was like 15, 16 in line. And I was like clutching my pearls. Because I was like, oh my gosh. If I don't get a Thanksgiving ham for tomorrow. Thanksgiving is ruined. Because I don't really, I'm not like, I'll eat turkey. But I'm not like a big fan of turkey. Like on Thanksgiving. So for me, the ham is the star of the show. So anyway... They didn't have like super big ones. They had only like seven, eight, and nine pounds. And um, I got a nine pound. Almost choked when she rang it up. A hundred and one dollars for a ham. A hundred dollars for a ham. When did this happen? 
I used to pay like 60 bucks for a ham, and I thought that was a lot in those days. I buy a ham every year. And I'm like, I used to think like, damn, $60 for a ham? That's a lot. Where, like, y'all, what is going on? Like, who, ha who fucking has $100 for a fucking ham? Like, that is insane to me. I still bought it. I mean, I love ham, but damn. This, um... Not recession. What is this called that we're going through? Practically. Our hands in Texas are 17 to $42. 42 for a 24-hour... I don't believe that. From the Honey Bake Ham Company? No. I don't think so. Maybe a supermarket ham. But not from the Honey Bake Ham Company. I don't really like supermarket ham. It's too, like, I don't know. It's salty. I don't know. We've all, I, I was raised buying our hams from the Honey Bake Ham Company every Christmas, every... Thanksgiving. So maybe I'm a little spoiled when it comes to that, but I've bought in a store ham before, like from the supermarket. Oh no, I'm not a big fan. But yeah, maybe the supermarket um, hams are that price. I'm like, what is Honey Bake Ham doing, man? They're going to run off all their damn customers. They're loyal, long, long time customers. I mean, as far as I can remember, being a little kid. Ah! My babushki! This is so bomb! Oh my god. Mmm. Madre mia, this is so good. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh wow. Follow my, my recipe to the T as I've always done it. Wow. Mm. Oh man, this cheesecake is bomb. This is going in the fridge and ready for tomorrow. I know my nephew JJ going to have a ball with these ube cheesecakes. Looks yummy. Bring what? Bring it for Christmas. Yes. Send the invite and I'll bring the cheesecake. Yummy, send me a slice. Yes, my boo-boo. My babushki. My stinky booty boo-boo. Boo-boopy-doo-boop. Okay. All right, let me give my hands a little wash. A little wash. A little wash. A little washy, washy, wash. And Danes, let me put this away before Mama Appetite comes screaming. I'm gonna put these in the fridge. These boots are made for walking. That's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. Okay, now I need a napkin to clean my phone. Alright. Damn, that ube got everywhere. Alright. So that is the recipe, my loves. 
That is the recipe. Holy cow. Happy Thanksgiving, Laura and everyone. Hi, Winter Moon. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Angelica. Oh, yeah, Angelica, I'm doing that um, the day after Thanksgiving. I'm going to go live here on this channel, and I'm going to decorate. <clears throat> What's on the menu for tomorrow? My weeders, I'm going to do... Mama's making a turkey. I'm doing the uh, honey-baked ham. Mama's going to do scalloped potatoes. I already peeled all the potatoes for her. So scalloped potatoes... Mac and cheese, stuffing, and then uh, my nephew is bringing some pies. I made the ube cheesecakes. So yeah, it's going to be good. Those ube cheesecakes look phenomenal. Thank you. They're going to be even better tomorrow. They, they whipped up so beautifully. I'm so excited for that video. I love Christmas decorations and Christmas gift shopping. Oh, gift opening. Heck yeah. My parents I already got a Christmas tree. Oh, nice. Thank you, Amanda. You too. Saved the video. Yes. Do you make mac and cheese from the box, Nate? I do. Not for Thanksgiving. But I love craft mac and cheese. If I'm ever craving mac and cheese, that's what I make. Um, however, Mama makes mac and cheese from scratch. With a roux. So she don't be using none of that box stuff. Hi, Sylvia. I would love to wish you all a great and blessed Thanksgiving. God bless you all always. Oh, thank you, love. You too. Yes, I am keeping this live up, guys. I sure I am. I'm going to try to do mine homemade. Wish me luck. Oh, you got this, boo. Just make you a roux. Add a lot of cheese. And you'll be good to go. I'm done prepping for my Thanksgiving party. Oh, hell yeah. Are you making your famous garlic mashed potatoes? I was thinking about it, homie, but I'm like, nah, I want my mom's potatoes to be the star of the show. So I'm not making my garlic mashed potatoes this year. Nate, you did a great job with the cheesecakes. Oh, thank you, Charmaine. They look beautiful. I can't wait for everyone to try them. Oh, my God, Mama's mac and cheese and scallops, potatoes. You know it's going to be a party, honey. I make mac and cheese from scratch. Ooh, yes. Love you, Nate. You are the best friend in the world. And you always make me happy every day whenever I am sad. And a D word to Nate. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Merry Christmas. You too, Angelica. Happy Thanksgiving and uh, Merry Christmas, honey. Hi, Susanna. Love you and wishing your family a happy Thanksgiving Eve. I can't wait for your live tomorrow because I'll be eating with you. Oh, heck yeah. So, y'all keep an eye out for tomorrow because I'm going to be going live. We're going to be grub-a-dubbing. It's going to be so good. I'm going to have a king-size plate. Are you going live tomorrow for a little with all of us? Spread the Thanksgiving alone? Yes. So we I won't be spending Thanksgiving alone, y'all. I'll be with y'all. We'll be together. We'll always be together. We'll always be together. Hi, Maz. She said, hi, Nate. I ate the shrimp burrito today from Mentorito Meat Market and bom the bomb salsa. The fam had the asada burritos. Everyone agreed. Best burritos ever. No way. Hell yeah. Woo. Yes. I'm so glad you guys liked them. Oh, that makes me so happy. Can't wait to try Ube. Oh, Micah. It is so bomb. Hubby made Biscoff ice cream for tomorrow. Oh, my God. I love Biscoff cookies. Wow. I can only imagine how good that's going to be. Damn, I'm coming to your place next, next Thanksgiving. You're having a feast. Heck, yeah. Come on over. 
I'll be watching tomorrow with my pizza. Get it. Get your pizza, boo-boo. Are you watching the Macy's parade? They still do the Macy's Day Parade? Wow. No, I mean, I'll probably put it on now that you told me. Uh, yeah, of course, Angelica. Pizza does sound good. Uh, I might, Samantha. I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm going live on IG tonight. Because I think I'm going to get on Meta for a little bit. I passed out so early last night. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. I went to bed so early. I think it was like 6 p.m. I was already out like a light. My Timo video went up. I had scheduled it for 6. I was, I think, oh, I was asleep before that. So I fell asleep like around 5.30. Do a notification like this one, please, at BGA Vlogs. What do you mean? Yes, you guys hit that subscribe button. I mean that like button, por favor. Winner, yes, we don't celebrate but uh, Thanksgiving, but I'll be eating and watching Nay Enjoy. Thank you, love. That's what I was just telling one of my friends today. I'm like, we don't really celebrate Thanksgiving for what it is, but we definitely love to cook the, like, you know, Thanksgiving-style meal. But for what it stands for, obviously, no, that's a no. So it's just another day of family to get together <sighs> and indulge like we do any other day. So funny you say that because I was just telling one of my friends that today. They're like, happy Thanksgiving. I'm like, thanks. I don't really celebrate Thanksgiving, but it's just another, another day and an excuse for us to eat. Yes, many do still eat and celebrate family and togetherness. Absolutely, that's what we're doing. But I mentioned this years ago I, in one of my Thanksgiving videos. I mentioned we've always just kind of said, you know, we don't celebrate thanksgiving for the history of it you know but we do take it as another day to be grateful and thankful to be with each other and just use it as another day to just really appreciate your family and come together with some good food i'm all about the food that's it correct I'm not sitting here kumbaya with the pilgrims and yeah, Christopher Columbus came to the Americas and slaughtered and genocide a whole group of beautiful indigenous people. Fuck that puto. Kumbaya, Columbus. Kumbaya. He's the founder of USA. Fuck no, we don't be doing that. We do not celebrate Thanksgiving for that idea. The the Americas were never found because they were never lost. They were occupied by beautiful uh, tribes of, indi of, of indigenous native people, native to this land. So it was never found, founded, because it was never lost. You know, it was it was ravished by savages, co uh, colonizers who did a mass genocide that's what it is so again we do not celebrate the memory or the history of that asshole or anything associated with that just to put it out there um we just use this as another day as another excuse to just love on your family be thankful for what you have and who you have in your life and um do all that by by eating like a piggy my little oink oink. Nate is the most animated funny man ever. <laughs> Y'all know me. I'm dramatic as hell. But I'm spitting facts though. Animated. But factual. Preach. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. My people were colonized. And mass genocide occurred. Amen boo boo kitty meow meow. 
Yep. Love you too, Winter Moon. I have many Native American friends. Who, you are very correct. Yeah. Yep. Unfortunately, that's what happened. That's the history of it. And, uh, it's, yeah. Anyway. Anywho, we gonna eat real good. I'm already hungry. I'm like, can I, why can't I just snap my fingers and it already be tomorrow? Like, I just want to wake up already and just be like, so, to my plate. What is Mama Dove doing? Her and Mariah went to the store. I don't know what, what did they go get? She told me, but I forgot. She's like, here, peel these potatoes. Me and Maya are going to such and such store. We forgot. I don't know what. And I said, oh, okay. I don't remember what they went to go get, though. So I peeled all the potatoes, all 50 potatoes. And then I made my ube cheesecake. Hawaiians were betrayed by what am I? Oh, really? See, you know what? I don't really know a lot of the history of like Pacific Islanders, Hawaiians. That'd be interesting. I'm gonna do some research and stuff because yeah, I never really learned the history on on that. And I'm pretty sure it's very similar. Very similar to what happened here. Babe, did you make your cherry cheesecake too or only ube? You know what I was gonna do? I was gonna make half and half, which I could still do it because I have more cream. Oh no, I don't have heavy cream. Um, I was going to make half and half, one ube and one um, cherry, but I seem to enjoy the ube one a lot more than the cherry cheesecake. So I decided to make two last minute because I, I did buy a can of the uh, no sugar added cherry pie filling. Many blessings to you and your family. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Diane. You as well, honey. Have a, have a good holiday. And uh, we are making tiramisu apple cake. What? And sweet potato casserole. Oh, wow. BJ Vlogs. There was a notification button to remind subs you have gone live. Oh, I don't have any control of that, honey. YouTube is the one that sends out the notifications. Yeah, we as creators have no, we have no um, control over that. Um, not only YouTube has control over that, but the but the the viewer themselves. If you go and select the little bell, click on the little bell. You have three options: no notifications, some notifications, or all notific. <clears throat> Excuse me, all notifications. So if you would like to receive all of my notifications when I go live. You have to physically click the bell and then select it. All notifications. Otherwise, uh, us as the creators, we don't have control over that. I'm going to finally try to make the ube cheesecake before my ube extract expires. Lord, these don't expire till probably like 2030 and it's going to be 2040. Man, I should have made my ube cheesecake and already expired. Get to it. All the dang heavy whipping cream was gone at the grocery stores near me. That's what I get for shopping last minute and I never learned. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I bought mine last week. I was like, I'm not going to be that guy. I am every year. And there I was at the Honey Bay Camp Company today. Number like 15 or 16 in line. Oh, I was panicking. Because I saw, they're like, we don't have any more uh, hams. And the lady that was next in line, she's like, well, y'all better go get some hams. I've been waiting in here 20 minutes. And so she's like, okay. So she opens the little door and she yells in the back, I need an ETA on hams. And they yell back, we don't know yet. We're low on hams. I was like, oh, man. So after like 10 minutes, I see them wheel in a whole, like, I don't know, maybe like 30 hams. And mind you, there's like 15, 16 people in front of me. I'm like, if everybody in here buys two hams, I'm going to scream. 
And sure enough, some people were buying one ham. Other people were buying two or three. So I'm like, Lord. Finally, I was next and there was six hams left. And I got one of the hams. I was walking out and there was like a group of people, like 10 people walking up. And I said it out loud. I'm like, y'all better hurry because there's six hams left. <laughs> oh, we just got back from Walmart and it was hectic as hell. I bet. I bet. What time you guys usually eat on Thanksgiving? Like around lunch. Maybe like, like a late lunch, like one or two. I'll probably be live around that time. Like around two, maybe. One or two. How was that girl, Nay, along with three other girls looking for heavy whipping cream? Oh, my God. You better call, go pull out them hams. She yelled that out. Yeah, she's like, I've been waiting here 20 minutes. Y'all better go pull out them hams. <laughs> and then when they wheeled the bell, she's like, okay, me first. Me first. I was waiting first. We're like, girl, you fighting with yourself? Ain't nobody, like, trying to shortcut you or nothing. She was a cranky little old lady. Me first, me first. I've been waiting. I've been waiting here first. Everyone's just quiet, like, okay. Well, nobody was fighting you. Hawaiians weren't allowed to speak Hawaiian or dance for a long time. Really? That's so sad. That's awful. Hi, Nate. When are you coming back to California? I don't know, Sheila. I would love to go back. I wish I could go every month, but yeah, I don't know. No, you did, Nate. About to start a fight over ham. Correct. I was like, hey, I need my hams. I went to H-E-B three times today. Kept forgetting things. Good thing it, was, it wasn't it was packed. Nice. You're luck, one of the lucky ones. We don't need till like six. Oh, damn. So y'all do Thanksgiving dinner. She was going ham over ham. She sure was. How's your mom doing? Eh? She's good, love. Thank you for asking. BGA Vlogs have done so. Thank you. Wishing you, Mama Appetite, Irene, Mama Warden, and Jay Grubbs. Love and... Love and live to, love to watch your videos. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Buzzy's Moments. Appreciate you. This is sad, but so interesting. Yeah. Lovey, it's not Black Friday. Yeah, I shook my head. It's like that color show. Oh, I talk about Black Friday. I just used, uh, I mean, I just used. I just ordered on Timu. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I ordered a lot of my winter jackets. What did I get? A winter, I got four winter jackets, an iPhone case, a phone protector. Oh, no, I took that iPhone case off because I have the one my Desi gave me, and I didn't want to. I still want to use this one because I like the little stand. Uh, so I forgot I took the iPhone case off. I got some screen protectors. What else did I get? I got a new wallet. Oh, some fancy chopstick sets. I, I love having a lot of, like, sets of chopsticks. I don't know. I got a couple other stuff, and it was... The total was going to be, like, 280-something. And then there was another deal. It was 130. And then I used my coupon, and I paid $70 for all that stuff. So I got a good-ass deal. All those jackets and coats that I ordered... They would have, one of them would have cost me $60, $70. So I got a good deal. I got a good deal on Timu. And mind you, I've already ordered those jackets before that I gave my nephew. Um, and they were great quality. So I reordered them in my size. And then I ordered another one that's like a, like a college or high school letterman jacket. I always wanted one of those. Oh, and I ordered four hats. I ordered four new hats. Yep. So yeah, I'm excited. I love Timo. They're having a black sale for um a black sale. <laughs> They're having a Black Friday sale right now on Timo. Everything's up to 90% off. So I got a fat I got a fat discount. 
I just, I can't believe I paid 70 bucks for the quality. I mean, I literally would have paid that for either one or two of those jackets. Easy. One. One of them. What am I talking about? Two. One of them. Easy. Oh my God. I swear I ordered the same like you two coats and a new phone case. Oh, really? Hell yeah. Dude, and I, I hate that they have so much stuff that you don't even need, but you want. I got stuck, mind you, like three hours the other day, making putting stuff into my cart. And then earlier today, another like two hours, I was on the app. Mariah comes. She's trying to talk to me. And I'm listening to Stephanie Sue in the background. Stephanie Sue is, I, I've listened to about five of her stories today. And I fell asleep to her stories last night. This girl, I'm addicted to her. So while I was driving, running errands today, I heard a whole bunch of her stories. Um, and today, as I was shopping on Timu, I had her playing in the background. So I'm listening to the true crime story. And I'm shopping. Next thing I know, it was a two-hour video. Next thing I know, it finished. And I'm like, damn, I've been on here for two hours on Timu. I added all kinds of like little, I had to take shit out because I had little like pocket knives. I had kitchen knife sets. I had a ring, a ring sizer. I had um, belts in there, all kinds of stuff. I'm like, I don't need any of this stuff. I was just literally down the rabbit hole of Timo adding and adding and adding and adding. I had to revise my, my cart in the end and I took like 20 things out. Because I'm like, oh, hell no, I don't need all of this. Never ordered from Timo. Wasn't sure about the quality for the price. We we'll need to check it out. Honey, this I just ordered with my own money. Not sponsored, not free items or anything. I ordered with my own money. <laughs> That's, that should tell you. I would never go and spend my own money on an app that I didn't believe in it. Again... If you use my code, if you do this and do that, I don't get no compensation. I'm, I'm flat rate. So what I'm booked for, flat rate, I'm, I'm booked for that. I don't get no incentive for anybody using my code or not using my code or da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. You know what I mean? So I'm not sitting here. I don't want you guys to think like, oh, he's just saying that because he wants us to use his code. Whether you use my code or not, I don't get no incentive for that. So whether you use my code or someone else's code, it doesn't benefit or hurt me in any way. But um, I'm just spitting facts. I have fallen in love with the clothes. You guys, I, I learned my lesson though. I'm a 3X. I could go to JCPenney right now and buy a 3 or 4X in shirts or sweaters and coats and they fit fantastic. Oversized, loose. This is a 3X. And it's comfy. This is also from JCPenney. My number one big and tall section store where I can find clothes that fits me and it can be stylish is JC Penny. But let me tell you, a shirt like this, easy $40. Any of their character shirts, $50, $40, $30, you will never find them less than that. Unless you miraculously find a one-day flash sale or something, which I never do. All their coats and jackets in the $70, $60, $70, $80 and above. So when Timu when I ordered those 3X, and mind you, I know they go up to 6X, I ordered 3X and they barely fit. I said, damn, this is amazing quality for the price. I'm telling you, I just ordered four new jackets and I just got two sweaters delivered the other day. And then I have four jackets coming. So I'm excited. Sure, that wasn't why she was crying. It's much deeper than that. You're right, though. She does need the love. Oh, who was crying? I'm late, but I'm here. Hope everybody is doing well and happy. Thanks even to all of you guys. And God bless and be safe. You too, Julie. Have a happy holiday, honey. Ooh. Love the color on you. It suits you so much. Oh, thank you, Yvonne. Timo would be great for stocking stuffers, too. Can't get so much for so little. I want to spoil my family. Absolutely. Oh, my God. All of the Christmas decorations are pennies. And you avoid the hustle and bustle of, this, of the stores. Waiting in the long lines. Fighting with Karens. <laughs> so, I did most of my decoration shopping already. Need a couple things. And uh, I'm done. 
I'm dead, nay. Chinese sizes, uh, they run small though. Yes, they do. That's why I mentioned in my video. They, they, all their clothing is according to Asian standards, um, which is a lot smaller. They're not American standard sizes. So if whatever you wear, go up two sizes. Like me, I'm a 3X. I ordered a 5X and it, it fits perfectly. So, um, so always order two, two sizes higher. One to two sizes higher. Hello, Nate. Where do you get the pecan pie crust? The pecan pie crust, I, I can only always find it at Walmart in the baking section. Walmart always has it. I've gone to other stores and once in a while they'll have them. I go back and they won't have them. So every time I go to Walmart, they're always there. Ow. Oh, was he charming? <laughs> How funny. Oh, enjoy, Diane. I need to go order some kitchen gadgets. On t oh, my God, yes. I peeled the potato peeler. I mean, I peeled my potatoes with the Timo potato peeler. Fantastic. Fantastic. In dos por tres, Desi. I peeled all the potatoes in... Short amount of time. That sucker is so good. I love that they have everything for the kitchen. Anyways, you guys, I don't want to drag this video on too long because it is a recipe video. Um, all of the items are listed in my original Ube cheesecake. So if people need a visual um, on the on a, like visual ingredients, it also it is in the description box of my original Ube cheesecake recipe. Um, however, it is going to everything I mentioned in this video. All right, you guys. Well, I love you. God bless. And I'll see you guys in the next live or the next video. Bye, everyone. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, everyone.